one day exactly one day later, so twenty four hours. Dude, you got a got a night's rest. Oh, hi, Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know. Oh, if you fly cat. Okay, fly. I know who you are, fly catcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <sighs> I think I've lost count. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. Oh. This fucking line. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf? Flycatcher left his keys. Nice. Listen, Snow, uh, can we talk? I, I wanted to... I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. All right. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. <sighs> You're late. Huh. <laughs> Someone's gonna see you, Colin. <laughs> got, got a fucking six pack in his mouth. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Oh. All right. Oh. So this is almost over. And I feel accomplished with myself, so... Yes. Uh, let me know, guys, down in the comments, so what you would have done. Would you have killed him? Would you have let him live? Would you have done all that nonsense? Oh, Gowan! Jesus! We only have like five minutes. Uh, carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit! You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Uh, oh, shit! Just go grab that, would you? It's just a farm. You don't have to be so dramatic about it. Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. It's a Groot. You know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so if you could bring it to her. She was nice. Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there. And, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> don't worry. All It'll right. be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around. Uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on, it won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No, I'm, uh, some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Uh, well, no, I, I could argue that Colin's Why been there. Wolf? 
goodbye, TJ. Hey, Big B. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? I don't know. Yeah, uh, must have run off. Bullshit. <laughs> Bye. Get out of here. Saying goodbye. Yeah, for the most part. Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to... It's okay. I get it. Listen, I... All right. I came here... I have to tell you something. What is it? It's almost like that one I was just reused. Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We we're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they'd go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? It's okay. Just calm down. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. Get the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You mean what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. So you sold them out? No. Yes. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what happened. But that night, at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. So you think that makes it okay to lie? I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. <laughs> Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here, and I left her. Just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them... So, that piece of fabric I found near there, that was you? Yeah. I cut my leg trying to get over the fence. So you... you started all this? I just... Pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world <laughs> likes it that way. Damn. We just fade like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. It's going to be different now, I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems <laughs> Contradicting like yourself when you say that shit. Not enough for her. Or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but... They need you, Big B. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other. And look out for us. 
You don't see that a lot these days. Snow doesn't really need me. I'm sure that's not true. All After right. Everything you've done for us. Maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You protected your friends, no matter the cost. And you brought justice to this town, finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. Oh, well, that's nice. Thank you. I've given this job for a reason. And I left faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Huh. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. What hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom? They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. Huh. I'll see you around. Wolf. And that would be the end of The Wolf Among Us. I hope you guys enjoyed this amazing, amazing series. Uh, uh, if you did, be sure to like, uh, comment, uh, rate the video. Um, uh, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, and, uh, yeah, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel down, uh, down below. Um, uh, and if you want to uh, help the channel grow, share this video with your Facebook's on, uh, Facebook on, um, share this video with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. God, I can't talk right now. Um, uh, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.